Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So here's a look at my 84 gallon display tank. This community aquarium features primarily schooling fish and this tank is six feet long which is perfect for some of the schooling fish um, species that I have in here. And it's been about two weeks since I last showed it and since then I ordered some fish online and also some plants online. So I got some fish from Aquatic Arts along with some of the plants that I added in here. I did show an unboxing video of that um, those fish and I've also ordered some plants from KJE Aquatics and those are now some of those are in this tank so so let's start with the new additions so I increased the population of roseline sharks by 500 percent I mean I did just have the one only roseline shark right here this big full-size adult looking awesome before I added the new ones I did uh, there was two others that I had in here that unfortunately um, I lost those but I got new roseline sharks from aquatic arts and they are really small so I have five of these that I just added one two three those small ones so they have plenty of life ahead of them to grow up big like this. From that to that, so hopefully they will do okay in here. And then when they grow, get a chance to see them on display. So I have the I just added five new ones in here, so there's six now. I ordered six from Aquatic Arts. Um, they sent seven. One was dead in the bag upon arrival. And then in quarantine, I lost one of them. But the five, so now there's five to add to the one in here. And they're looking good. And as for plants, the Water wisteria, there's a stem here and here. Those I got from Aquatic Arts. And on the other side here, these Hogostem and Stellatus from Aquatic Arts. And Hogostem and Stellatus narrow leaf. I had Hogostem and Stellatus before, whether it was narrow leaf or not, I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but those in different tanks and lost pretty much most of it. I thought I'd try it again. And then from KJE Aquatics, I got this Crinum Calamistratum. I already had this one. It's looking pretty awesome. And then I thought I'd add a second one to the tank. Just getting some new plants. Um, I having the chance to get a Crinum Calamistratum that was available. It's such an awesome plant, I wanted another one. And from my local fish store, I got, pretty recently I got some Ludwig repins, so I put some stems here. I'm not sure if I showed an update since I put those in. And also some corkscrew valve, one here one here, and then there was a little piece right there. And from KJ Aquatics, I got this Italian Val, Valisneria, I put that right there. So, yeah, I believe that's all the additions. Um, I also got a dozen um, Siamese algae eaters from Aquatic Arts. They were really small. I have lost a couple of them, 
But I added one of the small ones in here somewhere to go along. There is a the big one that I have had. Or is it? it might be right in front of me, but yeah, so we have Rummy Nose Tetras. I believe I have 16 in here. I do want to add at least 10 more. I want a larger group of those. I have Scissor Tail Rasboras and Emerald Green Corridoras. The six Panagara, and they're they're putting on some size. They I got those from Aquahuna, and they were really tiny, but they are. Putting on some size, getting bigger and looking nice and healthy. There's the Siamese alligator, so that's a, a full grown adult. Pearl Garami, looking awesome. I love those little like feeler fins. When it like kind of uses them to like feel in front of it. Um, we have sword tails. This one I put in recently from my local fish store, along with the new Roseland sharks I just put in here. I did get a couple more sword tails, so that's a pineapple sword tail I just added and a red one back there. They're all female sword tails except for this one male, and that's the huge female. One of the first ones I put in here. Put that at the same time as that one. And so here's um, new Roseline sharks. And there's glow light tetras. They're pretty awesome. I didn't realize how cool they are. Like they'll school together. So I want. I do want to. I think I have ten or twelve of those. I like to get at least. 10 more of those also. They are awesome. There's some of them here. And we have some Japanese trapdoor snails. Oh yeah. And this this fish right here, my this is my betta. The first time I've ever kept a betta. So that is enjoying life in this 84 gallon. And there is one brilliant rasbor in here. I'd like to get some more of those. Be yeah, there it is. That was the only one they had at the time. I've been intending to get more, but every time I go to Petco or PetSmart, they haven't had any. My local fish store hasn't had any. But first chance I get, I will get more to add to, add to this tank so it can have more of a, a group to hang out with. And for hardscape, we have Oakstone, Dragonstone, Mopani Wood. Nice. Set up in nice pieces, and we have one of the early plants I put in here, Bacopa. So they weren't really growing, kind of lost the bottom leaves, but then I put in some fertilizer pretty recently and just started seeing some new growth budding at the tops of those stems. I have a Anubius here. I did show a video where I added that. A little piece of Java fern. Java fern window lever right here. Um, oh yeah, and I got Cryptocorn Balance, Balance. This I got from KJ Aquatics, so this can grow really long and I think it'll be cool growing there. And we have some giant hair grass, some here, some here. And this is Cryptocorn undulata. 
this is growing and looking awesome. And there's a little piece there that hasn't taken off yet. This, I'm not even sure what that is. That was a mystery plant that just appeared. I don't know what it propagated from in one of my 40 gallon tanks, but I put a little piece in there. And I do have Scarlet Temple. Not really doing that good in here. There is still some of that left. And... There is a tiny bit of sturgeon ripens left right there. Yeah, there's lots of Malaysian trumpet snails. I just put a few in here and of all the different types of snails, that one is the most prolific. And there's a red melon sword. Not doing that great, but still hanging on. But yeah, this tank continues to come along. It's been over six months now since I set it up, and if you're familiar with this channel, if you've seen some of the videos of this tank as I've been adding to it gradually, just more and more. So, as it is now, I don't think I'm going to be adding any more plants other than just what's in here. I'll let that grow some. I think this is as it is, is, is like the perfect mix that I want. So there's enough space for the schooling fish to swim around. And, yeah, looks good as it is. And it'll be awesome when those roseline sharks do grow. See big ones like that. So I, you know, if I can get a couple more big ones, like if I go to a PetSmart or Petco and they have some, I, I intend to get a couple more. I'd like to get some more Panagaras too. So we have six in here. And they have, they can still, well, they've grown a lot since I got them, but they can, where they are now, Still probably double in size from there until they're full grown. Yeah. So I want to get some more Romino's Tetras, some more Glowlight Tetras, some more Brilliant Rasbors, and after that, the last two things I want to add to this tank would be a pair of Crebensis dwarf cichlids and they can maybe utilize that little kind of like a cave thing there. If I can get a breeding pair it would be cool to see how you know even in a display tank they can have you know just guard that see how that goes. I mean if it gets when they're in breeding mode from what I know they can be aggressive but you know if they're not in breeding mode, then they should do just fine in here. And I am, one thing I wanted to do is get some uh, Odessa barbs. So if I can get the chance to get those. Aquatic Arts didn't have any. When I ordered from Aquahuna, they didn't have any. But I might try the Wet Spot. It's another um, online fish supplier, a source that ships fish, so when, if and when they have those available, I'd still like to get some of those, so, and that would pretty much be everything for this tank, then it'll be done as far as what I envisioned for it, but then it'll still evolve as it goes, but yeah, so it is coming along looking awesome. All right, well, that's it for now, and remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.